Hey, welcome back. This is Fico channel. If you are interested in programming productivity, the digital nomad, click down below the button and then click on the bell so you can be updated to everything we'll over here. In today's video, we are going to understand what GraphQL it is. We are this is the first video of a big series that we are gonna do. We are gonna try to connect an SPA framework uh, with WordPress using uh, you know uh, a framework called Astro, which is pretty trendy, and I think it's gonna be the you know it's gonna beat next i hope so so i think it's gonna be a pretty cool thing it will be also new for me i'm gonna be learning with you so let's do it okay so for this series this is one of the ones that i really wanted to do before um we're going to try to make a basic wordpress site with some customizations that are gonna be working in headless mode. We're gonna be using Astro, um, which is, is a new JavaScript uh, framework. It's a uh, thing is based in in, in um, Next.js, I think so, or React. Well, whatever. The point is that the idea is that we're gonna try to set up as much pages as we can, you know. And we are going to try to de deploy it in a in a real server, but for working over the headless CMS using WordPress, for example, we need to understand first the uh, basic stuff. One of them is uh, GraphQL. So, what is GraphQL? Well, GraphQL is uh, let's say let's call it a protocol that allows you to get information from a database or from a system, but exactly making queries to the system. So it, uh, it has a, an history uh, starting on Meta when we use it to be Facebook. So the reason is that they were, the application was so big that they started to make a bunch of requests to the API. So, so they decided to create a system that they can make a query directly over the front end. So, for example, if they wanted to, if they wanted to figure out what is the username, the name of the person that was logging in, uh, the relationships, their, mm, I don't know, friends, whatever, they had to make like a ten requests. You know, just what is the username? What is the last name? What is the friends? What's the name of his girlfriend? Uh, what are the photos that he had? But what about if we can try to make it in once? So they decided to create GraphQL, especially for that. This is a graph that you can say, okay, I want in this, in this routine, in this request, I want you to give me the username, the friends, and the photo, you know? So that's the whole idea about this. So if you can decrease the amount of API reports that you are gonna do, you will need to set up GraphQL. So for that, here on WordPress, we have a plugin called WP GraphQL. It's a total open source, um, you know, system. It is being created for a community. Um, I think it's pretty cool, to be honest. And the whole idea is that we are going to start to figure out basic stuff for this video, so we can start to, I mean, it's pretty similar to what we have done before in our videos just to create a REST API. But with this, we will be able to either get the, the basic values from the, for example, polls, but we can extend it if we need it. So, so I already, I have already um, installed the, the deployment over here. It has its own IDE over here. So we can, for example, bring the post that we have on the system and we can just say, Hey, just bring me the ID on the title, you know? So I can, for example, just simply say, Hey, give me the notes, you know? And the response that it's going to give me is like, okay, these are the posts, you know, and it has ID, whatever title content. So we can add on a super short sample here. Let me add a new thing here. So it will be, uh, this is the live test, live test. 
So if I publish it, and if I do this query over here, there you go. We have the second value for this. So most of the information that we're going to get in the star for this series is to try to understand this. To be honest, this is my first time using GraphQL. Oh, I have used it before, but not for a project like this. So I think it will be pretty cool to start to, especially like a mixing, you know, how to use this or, or that, or what kind of information we're gonna need. So for this application, I think that we are going to, so we are going to then need something like a GraphQL, basic stuff. We are gonna do this with Astro, as I mentioned. We're gonna then set up um, like a real backend for this. And we are going to then start to use the HTML from a free version that, I, that we can find over there. I'm gonna be posting everything that we have it over here on, on GitHub. Remember, they always follow us over there. Uh, HTML block system. And after we can start to make uh, the deploy for this. You know how to how to deploy this. So what if we can have we can get from the GraphQL? Well, let's um, let's make a test. You know, so let's say if we can go for the users. Let's see. Let's. So I want to see if I can get the users, and I want to get the name. Let's see if I can get them. Yeah, nice name. And let's see if it brings it to me. Uh, there you go. We have the name of the user. Mine here is Pryco. Then the nice name is No. I'm gonna put here the password. No, no, I'm gonna not gonna put the password for sure. But <laughs> we can get information like uh, let's say if we can, for example, go for comments, and we can then say, okay, give me the comments, uh, the authors. So, No. Yeah, no, oh yeah, it, oh look at that, it, this, it did uh, suggest to me information to do it. Let's see how can we can get that. Comments, yes, there you go. So we can get the post ID and the comments. Mm, okay, okay, cool. Let's see if I can follow up this. In this case, I'm gonna then use this example. And the ID for this post is going to be 266. So, ID type, let me see. Let's see what it brings. There you go. So the comments that we have are none. For one out of comment, yes. But if I add a comment here, so if I do the view polls and, and I can add a comment. Let's see. Yeah, this is a test. Comment. Uh, let's see if I can bring down the comments. There you go. We have the comment. This is pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I can see a bunch of um, usage for this uh so imagine that well if we can mix for example our plugin from chat gpt uh, we can start to set up everything you know like uh, we can add the plugin to add all the content that we want uh we can for example make it this with the graphql connect it with the front end and automate it uh create a new version of the website over our application. Let's see what else we can do with this. This is pretty cool. Let's see if we can have media. Let's see. Let me see one thing here. Yeah. What kind of media we have here? So we can have category, tax, custom taxonomies, menus. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we can get. Plugins. Okay. Let's see with this. Plugins example. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what it does. What it brings to us. 
Uh, no plugins. Why not? We have plugins. Let's see why it says that we do not have that. WooCommerce placeholder. Let's see, for example, media. One sec. Yes, this is cool. After, um... Wow, look at that. It brings us all the media that we want. That's cool. Let's see why it didn't work, the, the plugins. I think it could be possibly Plugins can only be created by authenticated user with proper capability to show that the plugins. Yes, that's what I imagine. So, I mean, as I'm as I'm making this request, I'm logged in, but it's it is simulating that I am not re uh, logged in. So, I imagine that we first need to just try to log in on the system. It's gonna give us like an a uh, bigger token or whatever, and uh, we are going to then be able to start to set up and and say, hey, you know, give me the plugins for it. Well, that's it. Those are the GraphQL concept, basic concepts. Uh, we are going to use these ones uh, over our cover com coming videos. Um, it's going to be a very long series, one of the our longest. I hope you enjoy it. And if you see that this is, um, you like this kind of, uh, of content, just always just leave us a comment, share, like. It, it really helps us just to bring content like this for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.